I can't really think of a place I would rather be than in Wales, in the sun, with this. Uh, the evenings are closing in on us, aren't they? Getting colder and darker in this country. It's time to leave, I think. Okay, so I'm now in northern Spain. I left Cardiff on Tuesday afternoon. Got onto the ferry. 24 hours on the ferry, Portsmouth to Santander. Pretty cool start to a trip, this. There's a lot of bikes in here. There really are. Some very cool things as well. I mean, check out that. That's got to be the coolest bike here. Matisse. Probably the only bike here that I'd prefer to mine. I'm enjoying this. It's like being at a bike show in a boat. I bet you can't really hear, but the whole boat is rattling to the sound of V-twins, triples, inline fours, my little single. Oh, I miss the bonnie. Thank you! And that's it. We're in Spain. As easy as that. Who'd have thought? Pretty warm and muggy here. Oh, I can't wait to get moving. 24 hours on a boat. That's ridiculous. I think I'm going to take France next time. I wonder how they do... Passport ID, photo to ID, when everyone's wearing a helmet. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, so that wasn't anywhere near as boring as I was expecting it to be. Uh, but then got off yesterday evening and was very happy to be on the road and just started heading aimlessly south, avoiding the motorways. And then it started raining about an hour in, so I just stopped in a small village at a hotel or hostel. Stayed there last night. And now I'm just continuing to go south. This road should get us to Burgas. Burgas? Burgas? I have no idea. Um, in about an hour, I think. And then from there, I'll take a route to Madrid. Really enjoying the new mobile data thing where you can use your UK contract anywhere in the EU. That certainly makes life easier. I do have a map as well, just in case. Um, but now I'm just using my phone like I would in the UK. So I'm on my CCM uh, that I've had for about two months now. It's about 2,000 miles in the UK. Uh, so I'm Pretty comfortable that it's run in and didn't really have any major issues in the UK, so pretty confident on this trip. But I think it'll just be interesting to see how this bike goes on a long ish distant trek. Because a lot of people criticise CTM, it's like, oh, it's just a poser bike. I suppose maybe not criticising CTM, but criticising the buyers. I think because they're looking at the bike and being like, pretty small engines are not really that useful for touring. Also, kind of too good looking and too rare to really thrash around that much. Um, I mean, it looks like it'll go off-road and so everyone was like, ah, oh, but nobody's ever going to take it off-road. So I'm just curious to see what happens when you actually do take it on a trip, take it off-road, go touring with it, that kind of thing. Because for me, I mean, it's my only vehicle. And I'd like it to be able to do everything that I want to do. Um, and I think it can. We'll find out soon enough. And if I have problems, then they'll be documented. I mean, it is a lot.
lot of fun being on a nice country road, not on a sports bike. I feel like you have to be crashing it, just enjoying it. Something out of corner is not flat out. That does still bug me. It tells you you're fit. And really, you know you're not, but because of something telling you that you are, you doubt yourself. Then you go for it. Gear change and there isn't another one. So in all honesty, yes there are times where I prefer to be on a larger bike. Um, you know, the grunt is just going to eat up all of these miles. Um, a small lightweight bike, much more relaxing to ride, um, and it's certainly not not fun. Um, it's probably safer as well to just be that 60 or 70 the whole time. <laughs> just find a little cafe somewhere where I can see the views and see the bike, have a coffee outside, maybe a croissant, or whatever they have in Spain for breakfast, I don't know. I've spent so little time in Spain in my life, it's ridiculous. Left or right, people? Where would you put a cafe? Somewhere in Spain, I have no idea. Still on my way to Madrid, but figured this was a nice place to stop. Just had a quick nap. Now this lake, rather beautiful. But yeah, I mean this is the nice thing about not really having a tight schedule or a particular route. Is you kind of just ride along and be like, oh look, there's a lake. So you do the obvious thing and pull over and go to sleep. Because who wouldn't? Right. Have I left anything behind? I don't believe I have. Sorry, half naked Spanish people. There was a sign saying no cars onto the track, but it didn't say specifically motorbikes. So I figured it was acceptable. again. That's always the risky bit, just there. You pull out onto, onto a junction, and if you're not thinking, you pull out onto the wrong side of the road. Well, any of us British people might. Because if there's no cars, you just your brain just defaults. It's very easy to sit on the wrong side of the road if you're just following traffic. Less easy when you're just pulling out onto an empty road. Well, I must admit, this place is rather beautiful. Just do my standard nervous checks, make sure my zips are done up, keys are in my pocket, all of that sort of stuff. Tend to be a slightly paranoid rider a lot of the time. About forgetting things, what have you. But yes, on to find a petrol station. Let's have a look. For the third fill up in Spain. So it's probably like three in the afternoon or something now. 
and it is actually quite warm, which is really nice. I mean, there is an advantage to it being less warm as well, as you tend not to sweat if you're cold. If you're packing light and you don't really have any change of clothes, then not sweating is a good thing. But I think I'd be rather, I'd rather be warm and smelly, actually. Cannot resist the heat. My aerosol tire inflator puncture repair thing exploded in my bag, so now I just have a mess.